So a question I get asked on a regular basis is coaches reach out to me and say, Leo, how can I be a one-to-one specialist? Or how can I be a specialist in the niche that I work in? So in this video, I'm going to answer that question and I'm also going to share with you some valuable tips and strategies that you can take to become a specialist in the one-to-one space so that you can separate yourself from all the other competitors in your local area and you can attract more committed clients to train in your business. So make sure you watch the video, enjoy, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. So for purposes of this video, I'm going to talk about how to become a one-to-one specialist. So how to specialize in this type of niche that is at the moment very competitive and not many people understand that there is a speciality to becoming a one-to-one coach, right? It's not just about working individually with a player and that's it, making a little bit of money. There is a way that you can become a professional one-to-one trainer. There is a way that you can separate yourself from everyone else. And there is a way that you can attract better customers and clients into your one-to-one training business. So this video will answer those questions. Now, I think when I think about becoming a specialist, there's five things that I think about. So the first one is if you want to become a specialist at anything in general, right? It doesn't have to necessarily just be coaching. Uh, Anything in general, the first thing is to get certified. So when coaches reach out to me and say, oh, uh, Leo, I want to uh, start a one-to-one coaching business. Okay, fantastic. How uh, How much certifications, how many qualifications do you have? Oh, I don't have any. So the first thing I would recommend you do, first, go and get certified. Now, the second one is gain coaching experience. So the first thing I would do is once I've got my certification or qualification, I would then look to volunteer at local soccer clubs. So something that I did when I first started is I went into my local clubs in my area and I offered to volunteer for them. So really and truly, when you volunteer, you may become a head coach or you might just become an assistant. But either way, it's great to just be in an environment where you're working with uh, soccer players. Right, working in, with soccer players, working in a training environment and getting to know what it's like to actually coach youth players. The third one is study technique. Right, So if you want to become a one-to-one specialist, then you have to know the technical skills of the game. Right, And this is something that the best coaches that I work with are solid at. Right? You could have a you could have a 10-hour conversation with them where they could break down uh, the technique of dribbling, the technique of passing, the technique of uh, striking a ball. Right? So you've got to know and you've got to study what technique looks like in the game. Okay? Because essentially, if you're working one-on-one with, with customers and clients and players, then you, they're coming to you because they feel that you are that, that person that can take them to the next level. You're that person that understands the most about technical development. So study technique, study how players can improve their technique, what they're doing bad, uh, what are players' strengths, what are their weaknesses, um, and how they can develop uh, their technical ability in different areas of their game. Okay, so the third one is study technique and have it down to a T. The fourth one is become a specialist at something. So when I talk about one-to-one training, then a lot of coaches think, oh, okay, great, I can just specialize in everything, right? When you want, when you want to become a one-to-one specialist, you have to be good at a specific thing. Right, so you might be good at one-to-one goalkeeping training. You might be good working with defenders. 
You might be good working with attacking players. You might be good working with wingers, right? You might be good working with uh, strikers, okay? So specializing with a specific position type of player and what type of players that you can improve in the role that they want to play or they play they want to play in their team so as a coach and as a one-to-one -one coach as well you can become a specialist in a certain position on the field and that is also going to separate you from your competitors and and that's going to help you to to attract more committed clients because those clients are going to come to you because you are solving a specific problem so if they Mrs. Jones is bringing along her child and her child plays as a striker and you are a specialist working with strikers, then again, you add a lot of value to the client and also you add something that they can't get anywhere else, which also means that you can charge more for your services because you're being, you're being very niche specific. Fourth one. Now, the fifth one is provide a quality service. Right. So once you've got the experience, once you've got the qualifications, once you've got the knowledge, once you know what and how you want to specialize in your niche. Now, the next bit is how can I then turn that into a high quality service? So when I talk about high quality service, it's not just about the coaching, but the process the parent or the customer takes when they want to join your, your program. So from the initial uh, intro call that you have with them to the evaluation session and then from the evaluation session to closing them into your program is it a high quality service do you provide them with excellent customer support is is there a personal touch in the service that you're offering and are you someone that will look after them okay especially in this industry where there's so many private trainers now it's very easy for parents to go and choose someone else if they don't feel that you value them. Okay, so you have to over care about them, right? Treat them like they are your only client, like they're the best client and provide a high quality service so that they don't want to go to another trainer who might be cheaper, but because you provide them that personal touch because you provide them that attention because you provide them something that a cheaper trainer isn't providing them they, they want to stick with you they want to stay with you and they want to grow uh, with your business okay so if you want to get in contact with me if you have a one-to-one -one, uh, training business or you want to start one uh, and we haven't spoken already reach you can reach out to me uh, i've got a, a new number so if you're based in the united states you can send me a text message, my number below. Now, if you're not in the US, then you can reach me via the email, which is in the description below as well. So you can send me any questions you might have. And also, if you want to book a free 15-minute uh, call, I do these calls with coaches who I haven't spoken to already. These are free. 15 minutes, we jump on Zoom. I'll ask you a couple of questions, see where you're at, and see where where you want to go with your business and show you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale to the next level thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one